At this location, we're going to be looking at specific damage that we're seeing from trips, such as this uh, terminal that you're seeing. This is uh, called possum mirroring. This is very common to see. Uh, the actual damage is not going to affect yields. There's been, again, plenty of testing that's been done over this over the years in Texas, and this is a non-factor. Thrips will be found in blooms, and uh, again, the balance that we will see here, at least in West Texas, are going to be Western flyer thrips. Studies show that uh, there is a higher amount of uh, another kind of thrips in South Texas and Central Texas, which are going to be tobacco thrips. When scouting for thrips, we want to look at the terminal bud where the new foliage is still rolled up and folded. That's where the thrips are going to be hiding to, to, for safety and protection. They'll have rasping mouth parts so they're not piercing and sucking like our plant bugs. They're not a foliage, uh, foliage feeder like worms will be later in the season. But that rasping mouth part allows them to uh, suck the juices out, and that is part of how they transmit diseases in some cases. If they are feeding in there, that's where they're going to be found. The later signs of their damage are these curled and puckered leaves when the leaves come open and are fully opened up, as Clyde pointed out, called possum earrings. There's been a number of studies that have been conducted that have shown in Texas that this is a non-issue. In other words, treating for thrips are not going to be something that's going to be a uh, return on the investment. So in these planter boxes, it's better off if you leave them empty. In other words, uh, the, the data is not going to show a significant increase in uh, yield regarding this. When we're talking about thrips, specifically we're talking about two different species. There's the western flyer thrips and the tobacco thrips. Uh, by and large, in West Texas, we do not have uh, tobacco thrips as a vector of a specific disease that we see, which is a virus called tomato spotted wilt virus. Western flyer thrips are a very poor vector of it, apparently, and are the, the, the greater amount of uh, thrips, if you will, as far as populations here in West Texas. But irrespective, that's not an issue here for West Texas. However, South Texas, it may be an issue. Plants should be carefully dug up to look for both insects as well as diseases. Examining the roots, looking for any kind of damage in relation to insects, looking at the seed halves for any kind of insect damage that may be there. There are a number of uh, seed feeding insects that do come in, but by and large they are not threats here in Texas. These look like fairly healthy roots. There may be some uh, disease here, but this is not a threat. Carefully sifting through the soil we're looking for, again, soil-borne insects. The ones that we will see early in the season are going to be white grubs and possibly southern corn rootworm as well as wireworms. Another early season insect that we can and do see in peanuts on occasion are southern corn rootworms. The area that they will attack will be the seed halves. They do not affect the seed halves. They are strongly attracted to this by the CO2 emitted. They will also feed in the area of this root, but they do not clip the nutritive tissues. 